pretty good in good body condition score. They sh probably all of them will have a, a good reproductive tract score. Okay. So again, the reproductive tract score is gonna range from one to five. And we do those by getting a veterinarian in and he'll come in and examine those replacement heifers about four weeks before the beginning of the breeding season. While they bring the heifers up, Usually the veterinary room, very often they'll do that by, by palpation. Some of them will do that. And then it'll just sound a machine like this one. Basically the way that this machine works, this is a probe that sends ultrasound waves just like a human probe, but it's adapted to go in the right from the cow. But can you see this structure here? It's a different shade of gray from everything mm -hmm. down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's the uterus, okay? And usually, right there. Can you see this circle here? That's her uterus. Those little dots are blood vessel. Each dot here, it's one centimeter, okay? So one, two, three, four, five centimeters. Which is about the size of my thumbnail. So you can see that her their uteri is pretty thick. You can see from here to here, they're all about 30, milli, uh, 30, centi, uh, 30 millimeters, so three centimeters. And that's a beautiful image of the over here. Whoop, right there. Just try to sit still there. You see all those little dots? Those are follicles. Cows have several follicles in their ovaries. And these follicles here are about 10 millimeters, so not a very big one maybe less than that, about five millimeters, okay? So each one of these black circles has an egg inside. So when we say a cow ovulates, she pops one of those follicles out and the egg comes out and hopefully the bull has bred that cow or we have artificially inseminated that cow and the sperm is gonna swim and fertilize the egg. So this see there is the, a device full of progesterone And remember, the progesterone, we can use this to get the cows to start cycling, right? Mm -hmm. So this is an intravaginal device. It has little wings like this. And you put it in a cedar applicator like this one. And the way this works, you load it into the device. Mm -hmm. And then we introduce this into the vagina. Press this like this, those wings get wide open and then when you pull it out this gets caught in the vagina and then just this cord hangs out of the vagina of the vulva there so you look at the back of the cow if this is her vulva here and this is how it's going to look like mm -hmm. okay so this is going to stay inside slowly releasing progesterone then i run that cow through again seven days later i pull this out and then she clears the progesterone out of her systems and then she starts cycling. In a natural service setting, okay, would you use a drug like Lutilize? And that's a great question. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a bottle here. These guys are just great help. There are two other drugs that we can use. And these are Fetrao and Lutilize, but they're drugs from other brands. This is just Zoetis, but there are other brands that are as good as this one. Okay, so don't get too caught on the product, but the active ingredient. Okay, the molecule that we're utilizing here is prostaglandin. The molecule that we're utilizing here is GnRH. If you're doing natural service breeding, it doesn't matter the GnRH, but you can use Lutilize. What the Lutilize does is once you give a Lutilize shot, you get cows that are already cycling, okay? If they are in the right stage of their cycle, they will respond to this shot and they will show heat within a uh, one to six day window. What I like to do in some situations, if I'm working with a herd that I know that the cows are in really good condition, they are, you know, great body condition score, most of them are cycling. I usually use a protocol for natural service that is like this. You turn a bow in today, you wait four to five days, give a shot of little eyes on everybody, and just keep the bow in. Don't give a shot in the bowl, everybody but the bowl. Okay? <laughs> okay? But you can turn the bowl in four days before that. The reason for that is because when you give that shot, if the cow ha is in the right stage of the cycle, remember, they're gonna show heat within one to six days, right? So the bowl is gonna cover that. 
But if they show heat two to three days before you give this shot, that shot doesn't work. So you're gonna miss a whole cycle. Of it. That's why we turn the bow in four days before, and then we give the shot. We never give the shot more than five days after we turn the bow in, because if the bow braids are in more than five days, Brad, this will cause abortion. Easy enough. But that only works in cows that are cycling. If you have a group of cows, then most of them are not cycling. This will work better. This stays in for seven days. Can you use a combination of the two? Absolutely. You can. If you want to save some money, this is about 16 bucks. This is about $3 each. Shot. But this is much cheaper if your cows are cycling. So what I do when I'm working with people that can run them through two times through the shoot, I'll put cedars in some. They're more... They need a little bit more of a push. And the other ones, we either just turn the bow in or we give a little ice shot. Because they're already cycled. So if they're already cycling, they respond to their little eyes, they'll show heat within a week, and they're gonna breathe really good. It's amazing. Like, those are amazing, I guess, developments that happen over the last 60 years, I guess. So we should see a bag. It looks like something's <laughs> there. All right. Oh, look. So now it's a completely different situation, right? Mm -hmm. He's preg checking her. And does anybody know the diagnosis there already? Pregnant. Yes, she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. So how do we know she's pregnant? Just shows the placentum there, Lucas. Or a placentum right there. So see the afterbirth of a cow, right? Mm -hmm. You've seen those big old knots. Those are what we call placentums. That's exactly what he's showing. Can you see this potato looking thing here? Mm. Is that like the little Velcro things? Those Velcro looking things, which is the placentome. So cows, you know, humans, we have a, what we call a discoid placenta. So our placenta is a disc. And the cow, instead of being a disc, is a bunch of little knots. That's where the mm. blood, it's not direct blood exchange in the cow, but that's when they are close to each other. This, now Lucas is showing off a little bit. <laughs> if they're not on the blood flow feature, he's just measuring, and there's blood flow. You can increase the a little potato. So how far along is she? Uh, it's hard to tell, she's super ah. <laughs> But can you see how much blood flow is in that placenta? Mm -hmm. That's because there's a lot of nour nourishment going into the fetus there. So let me go back to the BMO and see if you can show us the fetus there. With this. So the fetus is too big, can you see that's part of the head of the fetus? And this is the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is being clean whenever you're doing cedar. So this is going to come out of the cow somewhat dirty, so I come clean my gun in the, clean, in the dirty bucket. And then I have a bucket with chlorexidine, okay? As you glass solution like this, put enough until I get a lot of bubbles, like I have here. And then I disinfect it here before I load the next cedar. Then I go there, and now you have this disinfected. I'm ready to go to the next cedar. Slide the cedar in, and this is ready to go inside the cow, okay? I usually have paper towel with me too. So I'll go in, clean the bulb of the cow, open it up, and then it's slide inside the bulb. Like I told you, once you introduce like this, you press this, pull it out, the cedar is gonna stay, just the cord's gonna hang outside. Okay, then again, got out of the cow, go to the clean, clean, dirty bucket, and then from the dirty bucket to the clean bucket, then I'm ready to load the next one. Make sure that it's the very end of this vagina. There we go. Now I can see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, we learned about art uh, what is it artificial uh, insemination it AI. and how to give the shots in the triangle behind the neck yep. uh, weighing the cow and also what else um, the proper techniques to make sure that the cow is uh, pregnant on cycle like the whole herd pregnant at the same time yep. so this was really um, a great opportunity we're it was it was good. I I think I learned a lot. So I also did too.